Hi everyone, I'm Alan Janay from CBS4, and I'm here to share a little bit with you about Dominic Dizzuti, a 2022 inductee into the Heartland Silver Circle. It all started right here in this studio at PBS12 26 years ago. That's when Dominic got his first shot at television when he was hired as an intern back in 1996. Among his very first jobs was working on a show that he would eventually produce and host, Colorado Inside Out. PBS 12's Emmy Award-winning public affairs series is one of the longest-running television programs in Colorado history, now in its 30th season. Patty Calhoun, founder and editor of Westward, is an original panelist and worked with Dominic from the start. Over the years, Dominic really put his stamp on Colorado Inside Out and certainly the host seat. He not only took our answers, but would sometimes challenge our answers or certainly work off them to expand the conversation. The Time Machine episodes were a great tradition. I loved seeing the characters he would come up with, the period pieces, the outfits, and the sacrifices he would make with his hairdo and his beard in order to play that character. In 2004, Dominic helped to build an election coverage partnership with CBS4 and the Rocky Mountain News, creating the Colorado Decide series, proudly offering countless debates every election season. Dominic became the host of that series in 2008, he was joined by political analyst Eric Sonderman. The lead attribute and the lead necessity of a debate producer is one word to my mind, that's tenacity. You have to stay at it. So behind the camera as a producer, in front of the camera as a host, there's no one better at the debate game than Dominic Dizzuti. In 2015, Dominic's love for high school debate and Colorado politics came together when he created both sides of the story, PBS 12's award-winning high school debate series that I've greatly enjoyed hosting for the past several years. Both sides of the story bring some of the best high school debaters in Colorado together to debate issues important to this state. The champion of the 2021 season was Kalina Kulig, from George Washington High School. Being able to spotlight these young voices and encouraging young people that they can do it and that we might have something important to say is really why this program matters so much. Giving us this platform and telling us that people will listen, that's the key. Dominic served on the Board of Governors of the Heartland Chapter of Natus for 17 years, and he currently serves on the Board of Brent's Place. That's an organization that provides long-term housing for families facing a life-threatening medical crisis. As a, as a board member here at Brent's Place, Dominic's role really is multifaceted. First and foremost, he obviously has a role as a guardian of the organization and provides oversight with his peers and ensures that we're providing the impact we promise. But I think most importantly, Dominic brings heart to the organization and helps us see what we're doing, the impact we're trying to make, and always connects that back to our families. I know Dominic would be the first to say that all of these great moments were only made possible by working with a great team. But it's clear that the Colorado community has truly felt the impact of his work. I'm proud to call him my colleague and my friend, and I welcome him to the Heartland Silver Circle. Thank you so very much, Alan. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Heartland Chapter of Natus for this amazing honor. I remember what it felt like when I attended my very first Heartland Emmy Awards Gala many years ago. I honestly felt I had snuck into an amazing party that I was unsure I deserved to attend. I feel the same way tonight. When I see the list of my fellow inductees joining me, and the list of legendary professionals that preceded me, I am puzzled how I am able to be included in the same discussion. I simply do not naturally add myself to a list that includes people like Ed Sardella, Ann Trujillo, Donna Sanford, Bill Stewart, and Renelda Muse. And yet somehow, that is the reality. Well, clearly, something like this only happens with a great deal of help and support from a lot of people. And I want to thank a few of them for making this possible. I first need to thank Barbara Jabaley, the amazing producer at PBS 12 that gave me my start and hired me as an intern way back in 1996. She also created Colorado Inside Out and allowed me to adopt it as my own baby for over 20 years. I also know that none of us succeed in this business without amazing bosses. I had the honor of working for Kim Johnson for nearly my entire career at PBS 12 and I simply could not have asked for a better ambassador, mentor, and friend. 
I have also had the high honor to work with the finest team in the business at PBS 12. Everyone, to a person, is so committed to serving the Colorado community, and any success I had at my job was only possible because of their amazing commitment. I also want to thank my family. I am so very grateful that they are here tonight. I like talking about how I started my career as an intern, but what you need to know is that I had already graduated college two years before. That's right. Two years into my post-collegiate career, I decided to go work for free for a public television station and move back in with my parents to make ends meet. They were so proud. <laughs> but because of their support then and for every day of my life, I get to have a moment like this. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. And why PBS 12 gave me so much, the most wonderful thing it ever did for me was to introduce me to Paula Roth, who somehow I talked into becoming my wife 17 years ago. I won the cosmic lottery when you said yes to my proposal, darling. Thank you for being the greatest co-pilot on this grand adventure. I cannot have done any of this without you. Finally, I'd like to thank all of you, the members of the Heartland chapter of Natus. I am so proud to call all of you my colleagues. No one holds a candle to the stories and work being created in our region. I am grateful to be a member of this wonderful chapter. This is an amazing honor that I will not soon forget. Thank you so very much.